Hey guys, it's your boy Killer Kill 360 back with another video. And today I'm doing what if Luffy ate the Necro Necro fruit. So this is my own custom devil fruit, and um I hope y'all guys will enjoy it. Um so um sit back, relax, and subscribe and like the video. Other than that, let's get into the story. So this story is gonna start off a little bit different. We see a we see a Luffy age around fifteen years old, where he's exploring his island. He's out in the forest, doing his own thing, um, trying to survive. When he happens to come across corpses of animals, and he's like, "Why are there so many dead animals here? What the heck is going on?" As he walks through. Through the carcasses and he's like hmm that's strange as he happens to see a fruit on a pillar and he walks over to it and it looks strange it has bone fragments and it looks like a skeleton as luffy picks it up and he begins to throw it up in the air as he observes it he's like this, this is the strangest fruit i ever seen as something compels him to take a bite out of it. Something in his body was compelling him to eat it. Like he didn't have control over his body. As it says, you're the perfect sesame that I need. As the fruit gets consumed by Luffy. As Luffy starts to feel major changes throughout his body. For one, his ears become pointy. His eyes become crimson red. His hair is super jet black. As he can feel his arms on fire. As he looks down at his hands. As he's like, what is this? Is this fire? No. There's something much greater. Is this souls in his hands? As the fruit begins to talk to him. Yes, you're the perfect host that I needed. You will rule this world with an iron fist. Everybody will kneel at your feet. As the voice is in his head. No, that's not me. I don't want to dominate the world. I love everybody to be free. <laughs> Is that so then? Use the powers as you see fit. But. You will easily conquer the world if you decide to take that path. It's not my decision to make you who you are. You do what you want. All I want is souls. Says the fruit. I, d I don't want to kill people. It's that's not my thing. Hmm. I see. But what if they want to kill you? Are you going to let that slide? I mean, I have to defend myself. And by the way, what the heck is your name? Oh, uh, I should have introduced myself before I even got into all this. Anyway, the name is Necro. Really? Necro? Okay. So, it seems to me this power has reborn into this fruit. I was once the most powerful necromancer in my world. To the point where <laughs> I met my own demise by other people. Ah, I see. So you took the path of evil, says Luffy. Precisely. But I want to see something new. I want to see a new change of scenery. I would like to see how would you use my powers to its full potential. And I won't get in your way. Your decision is your decision at the end of the day. In a few weeks, I'm going to fade out your body anyway. So, it don't even matter. But, for the weeks that I am here, I want to see what you can do. i actually teach you the ropes of how to use my powers. Fine, I will. But one thing I do want to let you know. I will be king of the pirates, says Luffy. Huh. <laughs> 
What's this? What's so special about becoming the king of the pirates? Well, you're the freest man in the world. You don't have to be tied down by the government. Blackies. Pieces of crap. I hate the government. Well, let me not say I hate the government. I hate the people that runs the government. The celestial dragons. They will rule the day. Ooh, spicy. What's your beef with the celestials? What did they do to you? <sighs> they killed my best friend, Sabo. Says Luffy. Ah, vengeance. I see. I would love to aid you within that. Alright, let's see what these necro powers can do. Then out of nowhere, a Bengal tiger jumps out the branches and leaves. As Luffy looks at the tiger, as the tiger is staring down at him like he's about to be a good meal. As Luffy puts his hands up. As the tiger feels this intimidation that it never felt before. As it begins to back up a bit. Uh-uh-uh. It's too late for you. As Luffy moves his hands down. As he begins to force the, the um, tiger down to the ground. And it can't move away. You might be wondering, how is Luffy doing this? Well, because a Luffy hand, his right hand can control souls. So, essentially, he's forcing the tiger's um, soul to his will. As he does a yank in motion. As he rips the tiger's soul out. It begins to feed on it. Whoa. This is crazy. If I can do this then. Now now. Let me just say this. You have to train your soul manipulation. To higher um, levels. You can't just willy nilly rip anybody's souls out. Because there are powerful souls out there that can resist it. I'm pretty sure. If I do a quick scan of this world. There are some monsters here. One of them being super powerful. I don't know who he is. But yeah. You won't be able to just really nearly yank people's souls out. Says Necro. Is that so then? As the years went by. Luffy was out in the mountains. Honing his skills. For the last. Seven years. Now he's in a young grown man traveling the world by himself as we see Luffy step in the bar hey can I please get a drink as the waitress is like sure what you want to drink Ricotti Patron Don Julio yeah let me get the Don Julio says Luffy and she says sure as she's eyeing him down, he's like, you like what you see? She's like, yeah. But my close friends call me Robin, says Ramel. Really? Yeah. I can see it. <laughs> As she giggles. Well, sweet talker. What you up to? What you, what your, you know, what you do? Me, I go around. I'm a bounty hunter. Go around hunting criminal people that need to be taken out. Is that so? As Robin kind of gets a little sweat on her head because she's not sure is he after her because she's been super low key at this point. As um, he's like, huh, what are you so nervous for? As she gets in a defensive position, she's like, whoa, 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 relax. I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm not after you. Huh. Is that so? As she relaxes. What got you so tense? Says Luffy. Well, let's go talk in the back, per se. As Luffy's like, I right, bet. As, um... Necro miraculously is still with him at this point. He's like, I swear my consciousness should have been faded. But oh well. Now they're stuck to, with each other. As 
Luffy's like, what do you think her angle is? Uh, honestly, I don't know. But he's pretty shook about something. Hear out. I right, Necro. As Luffy takes a seat in the back. As Robin, her fine ass, sits on the table. In a very peculiar position. And she's like, well, I've been on the run from the government for many, many years. Is that so? Why are the government after you? Well, I'm from an island for Ahara. But we was re-studying the history of the world. As, let me guess, you found something out that you shouldn't have. As Robin eyes wide open, she's like, yeah, how, how did you know? Can you read my mind? Uh, something like that, and I'm sorry for invading it. But I've been lying to you since the beginning. If you haven't noticed, as she takes a really good look at Luffy, and she notices his red crimson eyes. No way. You're you're a soul eater? Luffy soul eater? Is that you? So he's like, yep, that's me. But don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt a fine thing like you. In fact, I want you to come with me. I need you help. I need to find the history of this world. And I know you're the only one that can read it. So he was coy with me. He was after me. Well, I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. But yeah, I kind of was. <laughs> oh, why you didn't say that in the beginning? Well, I'm pretty sure you would try to snap my spine if I did. Am I wrong? And she giggles. She's like, yeah. <laughs> See, look, you're relaxing now. That's what it's all about. Sure, I'm intimidating when it's called for, but I'm also a sweetheart, says Luffy. Yeah, I can see that. So, when we heading out? I'll give you like two days. I gotta patrol this area and look for certain something. As um, she nods. Alright, I get my things ready in two days. See you there. No problem. As Luffy leaves the room. And she's like, whoa. I can't believe that was actually sold her Luffy. Why did I notice him earlier? But he was so mesmerizing, she says, as she bites her lips. As Luffy walks out, and he begins to patrol the area, as the Marines notice Soul Eater Luffy. I was like, oh shit, the Marines is here. And not just any like ordinary Marine, they got fucking Axe Hand Morgan here. Ugh, brother. As Luffy's walking, and the Marines is like, hey, stop. Right there. So you Luffy, you're under arrest. How am I under arrest when I'm doing bounties? I'm a bounty hunter. Are we under the same branch? No. Oh, this shit is so stupid. Alright then, you sure you really wanna test me? Says Luffy. After this, there's no point of return. As they get ready to fight. Alright then. As Luffy lowers himself down to the ground. As he puts his hands on the ground. Arise, my necro soldiers. Harvest these souls and eat their flesh.